The quote for today is, I'm not buying a 2021 planner until I see the trailer. <laughs> today is a great feast day of the Archangels, Saints Michael, Saint Gabriel, and Saint Raphael. September 29th, at one time this was only the feast day of Saint Michael, but the church decided to add Saint Gabriel and Saint Raphael to this beautiful feast day. Later in the week, we'll celebrate the feast day of the Holy Guardian Angels. When we know, what we know about the angels is that they're mentioned almost 300 times in sacred scripture, about 100 times in the Old Testament, about 200 times in the New Testament. What are angels? The Catechism tells us that angels are pure spirits made in the image and likeness of God. They have intellect and free will. They're spiritual beings of, of knowledge and ability to know and love. And angels are, there's nine choirs of angels, and today we'll focus on the three archangels mentioned in scripture. And first, of course, we have, uh, well, let's look at St. Raphael first. He's mentioned in the book of Tobit. And the word Raphael means the healing of God. Whenever you see the E-L at the end of a name, that means God. Michael means one who is like God. Gabriel, the strength of God. Raphael, the healing of God. For example, El Shaddai means the God of power, Elohim. So we have Raphael, his name means what he did. His mission was to be an envoy of God and to answer prayers and bring healing. As you know, he, he guides Tobiah to the marriage with Sarah. He also cures Tobit of his blindness. So Saint Raphael is a great saint to pray to during this time because he is the patron saint of healing, also the patron saint of travelers. So we especially pray today for all doctors and nurses and caregivers and healthcare providers, those on the front lines during this time through the intercession of St. Raphael, that they will be instruments of God's healing in those that they serve and that God will protect them as well. St. Gabriel, again, his name means the strength of God. He is the angel of the Annunciation. And as you know, angels, archangels have a special message to mankind and his message way back in the book of Daniel was about the coming of the Messiah. And we know that it was the angel Gabriel that appeared to our blessed mother and said, hail full of grace. So he's the one who gives us the angelic salutation. We call it the Hail Mary. So Saint Gabriel was probably our blessed mother's own guardian angel. And we see many of the fathers and the doctors of the church <clears throat> really believe that it was Saint Gabriel that also appeared in the dream to Joseph to say, take the child and Mary and flee to Egypt, and then to come back after Herod had died. He was the one who perhaps warned Joseph in the dream. Many of the saints say there was the angel Gabriel that told the shepherds that the newborn Christ was born in Bethlehem, and that the angel Gabriel, of course, had also appeared to Zechariah in the temple and told him he would be the father of John the Baptist. And then at the it's tradition that the angel that appeared to Jesus in the agony in the garden that comforted him with the strength to undergo what he was about to undergo with his cruel passion and death, that it was the angel Gabriel that came to comfort Jesus in the garden of Gethsemane. And that especially would make sense if he was Our Lady's own guardian angel, that Our Lady sent, since Our Lady was not in the garden of Gethsemane with her son, that, he, that she sent her guardian angel Gabriel to strengthen Jesus during his most bitter agony. It's also the tradition that it was the angel Gabriel that announced to Mary Magdalene and the others that Jesus had risen from the dead. And also a tr tradition is that it will be the angel Gabriel that will blow the trumpet at the second coming of Christ. So Gabriel, we believe, is all over the New Testament. And then lastly, the great Saint Michael, the archangel, the prince of the heavenly host. In, in the book of Daniel, he's referred to as the prince of the heavenly host, the defender of the, Jew, the Jewish people, the chosen people. And so he is the guardian and protector of the Jewish people. And, and because of that, since we are the new people of God, he's the defender and protector of the church. And we know that since he is the patron saint of protection, he's also the patron saint of all those in the military, of those in the armed forces, 
uh, firefighters, first responders, uh, police officers, that St. Michael is the patron saint of all of those groups. And if you want to learn more about some of the apparitions of St. Michael, he appeared in the fifth century in Gargano, Italy, a beautiful shrine. He appeared in the side of a cave. And there's a magnificent basilica built over that cave. And uh, so he appeared during that time to strengthen the people who were being attacked by the Visigoths. And then if you've been to France, many of you have been to Mont Saint-Michel, the beautiful Benedictine monastery in the town that is built right at the ocean where the, you know, the water comes in at certain, certain times. And at the very top of that Benedictine monastery is the statue of St. Michael the Archangel. And then the third most famous shrine of St. Michael is in Cornwall, England, Mont St. Michael's. So we should pray especially to St. Michael for the chosen people, the Jewish people, that God will continue to work in their lives to bring them to the knowledge that Jesus Christ is their long-awaited Messiah and that he is the Son of God. And of course, with Gabriel, we should pray, since he's mentioned in the Quran, pray to St. Gabriel for the conversion of Muslims, that they too will come to acknowledge Jesus Christ as truly the Son of God. So these are the three great um, archangels, Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael. We should have a special devotion to each of them because each of them is again a very helpful in modern society. I would encourage you to pray the prayer to St. Michael the angel, Archangel. We'll say it after Mass, but let's say it together today as we pray for our country and pray especially uh, for the protection of all of us from all spiritual and physical harm as we pray together. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.